For more than 30 years, rink rats flocked to the skating club at Roosevelt and Spring Roads. Let's take a trip back to the Elm Skating Rink. I'm Dan Lund, Curator of Collections at the Elmhurst History Museum, and you're watching Elmhurst History in Focus. Yeah, the Elm was really a cool place. They had a nice organist that used to be up in the raft, like, and you hear all the bells and stuff. It was, it was, it was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. And you would go in, and there was a particular, the smell of the wood and rosin floor when you walked in. And then there was the smell of the skates in the skate room. Oh, it was big. All the good skaters skated there. And, uh, and the organ. And the organ was wonderful. Well, it was packed with people, but they had four dance sets. And all these gorgeous girls with the handsome guys were doing all these dances, and I said, I got to get into it. The Elm opened its doors in September 1956. Owned by Bill and Lynn Fuchs, the Elm quickly became one of Chicagoland's premier roller skating rinks. Novices and experts alike came from all around to experience the 20,000 square foot hard maple floor and gigantic thousand pipe organ. Throughout the late 1950s and 1960s, the Elm produced top-notch competitive skaters. The rink held its first regional competition in 1960 and would go on to host several more. The Elm Skating Club was highly ranked by the RSROA, the Roller Skating Rink Operators Association, during this time. But the Elm was more than a rink for sport, it was a community. So you were always, uh, whoever was dancing or coming around always had a nice cheering section. We had people scheduled for the various events to make sure somebody always had somebody to cheer for you. You had a, a banner that was for your club and they would hang at the meets, you would hang them over the, the railing and just a lot of camaraderie. Generations of skaters came to the Elm for shows, dances, and private parties. On weekends, it was a popular place for teenagers to meet and hang out outside of a school setting. It was always clean and neat. It was a family place. It was always a place to have fun. You could be loud or you could just roll around and have fun. One of the most famous features of the Elm was its pipe organ. The instrument was truly massive, sporting more than 1,000 pipes and featuring Tony Tallman at its helm. Tallman's music would bring fame to the Elm and its organ and he sat at its console for more than 20 years. Then I got involved in working on the organ too, starting around 1917, helping uh, Tony Tom and Paul Swiderski work on the organ. Every Friday night would start after session about 11.30 and work until 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning on the organ, maintaining it and stuff. and. Um, and then, you know, after they'd done working, they'd always take a break and have a few beers and stuff, and then just play the organ for the fun of it, you know, with nobody there in the acoustic. The organ would be added to and customized throughout its time at the Elm, and would take five whole weeks to dismantle by the time the roller rink closed. By the late 1980s, the rink was falling on hard times. Liability insurance was becoming prohibitively expensive, and the costs almost caused the rink to close in 1985. A fire broke out at the Elm in 1988, causing extensive damage. There was also the inescapable fact that the popularity of roller skating was not what it once was. I remember the night we closed, and it shut it down, and I was the one that announced the fact that this would be our last night. And I had tears rolling down my face because there was nothing like the Elm. The Elm was it. No matter where I went, different roller rinks, I always came back to the Elm. The Elm roller rink closed down in the spring of 1989 after serving more than three decades as a place for skaters of all ages to meet, compete, and roller skate till their heart's content. The vaunted Elm organ was dismantled and put into storage, and the building itself was demolished. Today, Lexington Square Apartments stands where the Elm Rink was positioned as a vibrant community of roller skaters.
Thanks for joining us for this Elmhurst History webcast. Check out our website at elmhursthistory.org for more information.